Greetings, brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We are going to be continuing with the series of the message we have been teaching based on 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 40. But before we read the verse, let us bow heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless the reading of your word and the audience in Jesus' holy name. Amen. The scripture says, it's My people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. In our previous two messages, we talked about God saying people should humble themselves. And our second message was based on praying and seeking. God's face and also turning away from wicked ways. Now today I want us to talk about the results of us obeying the instruction of the Lord, that is humbling ourselves, praying and seeking God's face and turning from our wicked ways or from our sin. Now the Bible says if we do all those, God says then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now, what we must understand here is that all of these things are conditional. It's on condition we have done according to the scriptures, just as the Bible says. If the church is humble, if the church of God prays and seek the face of God, if the church of God forsake their wicked ways, then God will hear from heaven. Now, this is the phrase that is very interesting. Then will I hear from heaven. The Bible says God's place, God's abode is in heaven. God's place is in heaven. God's home is in heaven. And the earth is God's footstool, which means that's where God steps. But he says, just where I am, if my people do all those things that I've told them to do, then I will hear from heaven. Now, in the book of Isaiah 59, verse 1, the Bible says, God's ears are not heavy or they are not deaf so that he cannot hear us when we pray. So God has his ears open. Now, he's able to hear us. Now, he says, um, it's not that I am I'm deaf, but it's your sins or your wicked ways that separate you from me so that I cannot hear your prayers. And the scripture further says that God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. When we sin against God, God is not able to hear our prayers when we talk to him. But the only time when God hears us when we pray is when he, we confess our sins. The Bible says when, he, when we confess our sins, he is righteous. He is going to forgive all our sins and he will remember them no more. Now the Bible says, He will hear us from heaven, from the heavens above. God is able to hear our prayers. And after hearing our prayer, God does not listen to our prayers for the sake of entertainment. But He says, I will hear your prayers from heaven. Heaven is not too far for God to hear us. And God is very intelligent. Remember how many people are on earth. For every person who prays, God is able to identify each voice. What makes God to be able to identify the voice? God identifies the voice of faith. When we pray in faith, God is able to hear us. No matter how many people we are, but when we pray by faith, God is able to identify that voice and is able to respond to our prayer. Then God says, then when I pray from heaven, when you pray uh, from, from earth and God is in heaven, he is able to do the following. Number one, he is able to forgive our sins, no matter how sinful we are. But when we pray genuinely, seeking the face of the Lord, humbling ourselves, God is able to hear us from heaven and is able to forgive our sins so that between us and God, there is no longer any impediment 
to separate us from God. So we are able to communicate with God in a father-son relationship. So the Bible says he is able to forgive all our sins. And the Bible says when God forgives us, our sins are from, far from us. I mean, far from God, or God does not actually see them. It's like the south from the, from the, the north. They are very much wide apart. So God forgives our sins, and he does not keep the record of our sins when he has forgiven us. And, and he goes on to say this, that he will also heal our land. Now, the, the, the problem is not only with our sins, but is that when we sin, we become cursed. We receive the curses of a sinful other, and the land on which we tread, upon which we walk, becomes cursed also. And therefore, it needs to be healed. So when we are blessed, we are like the sons of God. We are like Abraham. We are blessed wherever we go. In the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible says when we listen or take heed of God's ordinances, when we abide by the God's law, by God's law, the Bible says wherever we put our feet, the place is blessed. So when we are healed from our sins, the land will produce for us. When we, we are healed from sin, the land becomes healed. When we are healed from our sins, our flocks, our fields become, they become healed also because we are healed from sin. Sin is the worst enemy of humanity. So the moment we get rid of sin, then we are okay with God. Now in conclusion, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, verse 28, I mean chapter 28, verse 7, that, you know, even when the enemy comes to us, I mean, the, the enemy will come to us in one route, but when we obey the law of the Lord, this enemy that attacks us will go from us, run from us actually, in seven different ways. Let me say this. Now, if we obey the law of the Lord, if we repent of our sins, if we are humble as a church, if we pray and seek the face of the Lord, this enemy, the corona we're talking about, may have come to us through one country, but the solution will be found from different, actually will come from different countries. That is how the coronavirus will exit the universe. There is hope in God. We don't care how powerful it is. We don't care how destructive it is, but it may have come through one or two countries. But when it leaves us, there will be a solution in South Africa. There will be a solution in China. There will be a solution in the US. There will be a solution in Thailand. There will be a solution in Russia. There will be a solution in a number of countries because the Lord of heaven is still alive and he cares for us. He's the Lord, our healer. He will heal us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.